right, so enough of the usual nonsense. I thought I'd um, show you a bit of an update on the CNC DIY Raspberry Pi, blah, blah, blah. What you're looking at now is the circuit diagram, schematic, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the right word is. Three motors, a Raspberry Pi, and effectively three stepper motor driver boards. The blue one is the original one that I was intending to use. Uh, it's the other fruit one, but as I've progressed, I've realized that I can control, I know how to work out how to use an L298, which is uh, able to power more uh, more cur uh, stepper motors that need more current. So we're going to be using three NEMA 17 stepper motors, as you can see, two L298 drivers, and I'm going to use one of my original Adafruit hats because I actually did buy a low current out of fruit stepper motor when I didn't know what I was doing. Right, so I've drawn this in Fritzing. There's a previous video that shows Fritzing. Um, yeah. You can see the wiring for three motors and the three DC connectors. What I should do really is get a proper power supply. I'm going to save getting a proper power supply. When I say a proper power supply, I mean, you know, a 300 watt or 15 amp, 24 volt power supply like you'd use on a proper CNC. Um, for the purposes of this, the main goal is to um, control three motors with suitable code. And um, yeah, proof of concept really. It's going to be too small to do anything um, substantial with. The bed that you saw in the um, photo at the start is actually a chopping board. It cost about four quid, which was substantially cheaper than ordering a custom cut one or trying to source some plywood in my garage with a big saw which would have been quite amateurish and looked really rubbish. So yeah, chopping board. Um, you can see I've started to enclose the uh, electronics components in a nice IP65 plastic box that I got from RS Components. And um, am I boring you yet? No? Okay. Um, that high-pitched stupid voice might pop up in a minute. You never know. Um, where were we? So yeah, driver stepper driver boards. So you can see the four wires from each stepper driver going into the, each motor. Um, what else have we got to look at? Pretty self-explanatory, really. Yeah. So I'm going to. Um, one, one last component need I need is I ordered a um, 3D printer, um, not the bed, but the bit that goes under the bed that attaches to um, the five points to attach it to. Uh, I forget what they're called. Two sliders on each rail, so that's two lots of those times two, so that's four, plus um, the bit that goes on the screw thread with the anti-backlash nut, so that's five, five attachment points and there's a 3D printer component that I've got on order which will is already uh, got the right holes to attach to that. Then that will attach to the breadboard. When I say breadboard, that's actually chopping board. Bit of wood. It's actually bamboo. Nice. Anyway, I digress because I'm still my mind is wandering like it often does anyway next I need to decide on the software now <clears throat> I've been looking at BCNC Bravo Charlie November Charlie BCNC which uh, I think could probably be my preferred option um, because I'm still intending to use the Raspberry Pi, uh, just because I want to, and because it's Wi-Fi enabled, 
Um, and oh yeah, the other th I'm going off on a tangent here. The other thing I was thinking of was um, attaching a probably a five-inch touchscreen. They're available for about forty quid because then the whole whole device will be uh, independent. I won't have to have any wires or anything. So I could put it in my garage out of the way, nicely soundproofed from everyone else. And also it's closer to my neighbour who I want to annoy because he's a bit of a knobhead with a boy racer car. Right, well you probably don't want to know about that, you'd want to know about um, yeah, the control side of things. So it will be Raspberry Pi running BCNC software. I've already downloaded that on um, a virtual machine and tested it a little bit. Um, so far so good. Uh, in a minute I'm going to change the image that you're looking at because you're probably bored of that and you're welcome to copy that it's good reference for knowing which side to connect see which sequence to connect up a stepper motor um, I got my original I originally got the uh, info or found out how to connect them up from a, a, a good graphic on a website called lastminuteengineers.com well worth a look um, right control next I'm going to um, put up a word document and scroll through that and bore you some more with that so um, yeah, without further ado let's look at that so can you explain to us the different software control uh, packages that you were looking at and explain why you think you're going to be using BCNC? Yes, well, that's a very good question. Thank you for asking. Um, so, there was a choice of Arduino which is widely used. Um, there was a man called Keith Howlett who has done a foam cutter. Uh, he used uh, Arduino and some NEMA stepper motors. It's, um, yeah, he's got all that working, but um, yeah, I want to stick with the Raspberry Pi for reason, reasons mentioned earlier. Ability to uh, use my existing hardware mainly um, and practice some more Python. And because I found this BCNC, so BCNC uh, cross platform, but um, one of the main features of it is that it's very good and compatible with old or slow hardware like Raspberry Pi. I guess they they wrote that when it was still Raspberry Pi 1, Raspberry Pi 2, etc. I'm sure they didn't mean anything um, derogatory about the fantastic Raspberry Pi 4. So, fast G-code sender. So, you install this on your existing Linux OS, Pi, Raspberry, and Raspbian OS, whatever. It's already installed with your running Pi, Raspberry Pi, add this bit of software on top. As I say, I've already tested this a little bit with uh, had Ubuntu running on a VM, and then I installed BCNC sudo apt get install. I think I used pip as well. If you don't know how to use pip, look up pip. It's a Python installer. So yeah, the, they've. Um, that's a touch screen I found for about 45 quid. That will probably come at the end. I'll, I'll leave that for now. That's not really the main point of this. So, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this and given you a little bit of food for thought. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, just keep doing pointless stuff, really. If you think something you're doing is pointless, keep doing it, because why not? <laughs>